bright. He's smart. Uh, no problems. Um, I think part of the thing that we did do that was right as soon as my wife became. So I'm getting a little uh, upset about this, but um, you know, I live here in crazy Forney where they just want to push this garbage on you. Now we're forced to have our kids shot up with it just for them to go to school. We have our son in a private school right now. And basically, when he's ready to go into the first grade, we're going to be moving out of here because uh, we just don't want to deal with it. But just the pressure they put you under, um, you know, during a stressful time like uh, pregnancy and delivering your baby, um, and how they just want to shoot you up with this stuff, it's its crazy. Uh, we had an all-organic diet. As soon as she became uh, pregnant, um, filtered our water. We still have an all-organic diet. Uh, we don't eat any GMO, processed foods. Uh, any of that garbage. Um, use clear mates and iodine. Uh, uh, use super male, super female. Um, and, you know, right now everyone's healthy, and thank God for that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and but, I like the fact that you're taking action and going, you know what, we're not going to stay around in this system. We're just going to move our lives somewhere else. And that's what you have a lot of people doing. You have a lot of people putting their kids in homeschool. You have a lot of people just moving out of the state of California because they don't want to put up with the medical tyranny. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I had mentioned that they go ahead and vaccinate premature infants on time, meaning that once they are two months old, they're ready for their two-month vaccines, regardless of the fact that they may still have supposed to have been inside their mother's stomachs and not even born yet. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that um, are we're seeing and are being said is are things like a um, neonatologist calling from the step-down unit down to level three to the more intensive unit saying, hey, I'm going to give these four babies their two-month vaccines this weekend, so I just want to make sure you had four beds ready because we know they're all going to have issues and need increased care. And that was bombshell information because that violates one of the core ethics of the medical foundation uh, profession that we've always seen, and that is first do no harm. They knew this was going to harm the children, but they were going to go ahead and blindly or uh, follow this schedule. Absolutely. You know, and I mentioned that I had sat in a call room before with a bunch of providers saying, hey, we have this 25-weeker that was so strong, they never required 
intubation with a breathing tube to actually go onto the vent had a less invasive type respiratory support. And you come in and they're like, oh, how embarrassing. We gave that baby his two month immunizations and now he's intubated and on the vent for the first time. Oops. Yeah. That, and it's just kind of blown off. That was amazing. So you told us that on May 1st. And then you contacted me last week and told me about this JAMA study, a Journal of American Medical Association the official uh, organization of uh, MDs, and here they do a, a study about the adverse effects after routine immunization of extremely low birth weight infants. Tell us about that study. Well, um, first, extremely low birth weight infants are 28 weeks in gestation or less, or under 1,000 grams, approximately 2.2 pounds or less at birth. And you had a group of physicians and a practitioner that went into a database of a large neonatology corporation with almost 14,000 infants looked at. And what the results said were that the um, set, they were looking at the pre-immunization period versus the post-immunization period, and their sepsis workups went up 3.7 times in the post-immunization period. And sepsis means a blood infection, and so there was multiple labs drawn blood cultures, urine cultures, they go ahead and they start those babies on antibiotics right away while they wait for results. So it's not a benign thing. Yeah, it's um, life-threatening, isn't it? Right. It's life-threatening. And even if it ends up not being an infection, they've still had pain, they've had invasive procedures, and they've had antibiotics given, which is not a benign thing for these babies that have very sensitive intestines. Um, and so it's a big deal. And then we had increased respiratory support two times higher in the post immunization period. Um, and then intubation, actually getting intubated with a breathing tube and going on the vent was about 1.7, 1.8 times higher. And what really shocked me, I had to read it about three times, was when I got down to the conclusion, they said, Based on this, there was no difference in reaction between single shots and combo shots. And so you can just go ahead and keep giving the combo vaccines. Isn't that amazing? That was the only thing they were concerned about. Can we tweak this a little bit by giving them a combo vaccine or a singular vaccine? No, it doesn't make any difference. So go ahead and do this to them, even though, and to repeat these numbers, 112% increase in respiratory support needed post-vaccine, this is the Journal of American Medical Association saying this, a 257% increase in sepsis. That's a life-threatening infection. Just go ahead and do it because we have to follow this vaccination schedule. That is the most important thing to them, isn't it? It isn't the patient's health. It isn't their suffering. It isn't subjecting them to life-threatening situations. It's sticking to the vaccine schedule. Right. I mean, just to clarify, they didn't actually have sepsis increase that much, but they are saying that they had that big of an, of an increase in testing, surveying, and starting to treat for sepsis, mm -hmm. um, which basically just says when I talked in that other interview that these babies have apnea and bradycardia is a nice example that they're having a hard time you know, remembering to breathe, and so then their heart rate drops and things like that. That's a lot of what they're seeing, temp instability, inability to tolerate feeds. And so these babies are, are vastly showing big cues that we're normally extremely concerned about in the pre-immunization period or any time before discharge because these babies have immune systems that are so um, underdeveloped that if you wait too long to treat them, they are going to have very bad outcomes and possibly die. But in the post-immunization period, we're seeing an increase in that. And apparently, we're not worried because the whole point of the study was to make sure that these babies get vaccinated on time and that it doesn't matter what you're vaccinating with. You know, when we look at these uh, babies with low birth weights or premature babies, they're really, I think, canaries in a coal mine. We have to look at this and say, if they have this, many, uh, this much of an increase in respiratory issues, and response to these vaccinations, I wonder personally if there's some connection to SIDS. A lot of people have talked about sudden infant death syndrome and, and just babies that stop breathing. I wonder if there's, we don't have anything to back that up in this study, but certainly it makes you wonder, uh, makes me wonder when I look at all of these respiratory issues that are caused for these babies that already have uh, a challenged health system. 
Well, there's two ways to look at it. You know, premature babies are not supposed to be breeding yet. It is normal for them to have some apnea and bradycardia, um, just developmental-wise and immature neurological systems. But um, having an increase is always a cue that something is going on. They don't address that in that study. We do have some studies from, I believe, the 50s following the DTAP shot showing um, increased or just apnea, but also just a vast change in respiratory breathing patterns. And of course, we haven't looked at that in decades, so we really don't have any data currently on that. You know, it's interesting when I look at this report, Michelle, uh, one of the things they say, laying this out in the abstract, the introduction to it, they say immunization of extremely low birth weight infants in the neonatal intensive care unit is associated with adverse effects. This is a Journal of American Medical Association. They say it includes fever, apnea, brachycardia, the immediate in the immediate post immunization period. And then they go to say, these adverse uh, events present a diagnostic dilemma for physicians, <laughs> whether or not they're going to give the, the uh, injection, uh, the vaccination or not. And as you point out in their conclusion, they go ahead and say, well, let's go ahead and do it because uh, we can't see any difference between a uh, single and a combination vaccine. So let's just go ahead and do this regardless of the health issues. And so, you know, we had you on the first time we were talking about informed consent because we have bills all across the country uh, lining up to take away our informed consent as patients. And of course, nurses are people, they're patients at certain times as well. And their informed consent and being in the workforce is also very important. But then we move to this uh, issue of first doing no harm, consciously, consciously exposing babies to harm because they have to follow this vaccination schedule. Speak to us about what you see happening in ethics across uh, uh, across the country in the practice of medicine? Personal consent is gone. Um, we are all a protocol. We should all line up and be herded through. I just, I'm shocked at this study. I, I know what goes on. I'm absolutely shocked that it's okay to publish this. Yeah. They're kind of standing out there with their pants and their boxers around their ankles, completely clueless that they're flashing the whole nation right now. Um, and it is an ethical dilemma for the providers. Something that's really woven through this study is um, they're pointing out that they're looking at incidences and maybe they're looking at incidences of apnea and bradycardia and they're showing, they're, they are saying, hey, there's a sharp decrease in events in the three to five days before immunizations and then they're giving the immunizations and they spike back up. And so they're attempting to call this, this they said, so-called healthy vaccine effect. Um, but really what you're seeing is physicians going, how am I supposed to know if this kid is sick or not sick? Or if we really are having a problem we need to address or if it's the vaccines? How am I supposed to be able to discern anything? And that's a very valid question. And so I, I feel like in that pattern, you do have some people attempting in this environment to do the right thing. And you have this study coming out basically attempting to tell them, please don't think this is what you're supposed to do. And studies show that if we get these vaccines in and on time, on schedule in the hospital, that we have a much higher chance of getting them done all of them outside of the hospital, and this is our primary goal. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.